Hello everyone. Welcome to Tells Vichenry. Today October 8th, our word of the day is Vi. V-I-E. Vi. Vi is a three-letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. Vi means to compete with other people to achieve or get something. In other words, to strive for superiority or compete eagerly with someone to do or achieve something. To vie for something means to compete for it. Two teams may vie for the gold medal, but one will have to go home with silver. Vi may be spelt the same as the French word, vie, but they are pronounced differently, V and V respectively, and are not related in meaning or history. English vi comes from the Latin verb meaning to invite as in inviting a challenge. Be careful of the spelling which includes an I, E, to Y shift. He intends to vie for the top prize, but he is vying for the top prize. Vi is a versatile word that can be used in various contexts to convey different meanings. Whether you are a native English speaker looking to expand your vocabulary or a non-native English speaker aiming to improve your language skills, understanding how to use vi correctly in a sentence is essential. Let's now explore the different ways in which vi can be employed and provide you with valuable tips to incorporate it effectively into your writing and conversations. Definition and context. Before delving into the usage of vi, it is crucial to understand its meaning and the situations in which it is commonly used. Vi is a verb that originates from the French word envier, meaning to desire or to compete. In English, it typically refers to the act of competing or contending for something, often in a spirited or intense manner. This could include competing for a position, a prize, or even someone's attention. Using vi in a sentence. To effectively use vi in a sentence, it is important to consider the following tips. Identify the subject. Begin by identifying the subject or subjects that are competing or contending for something. This could be individuals, teams, or even abstract entities. For example, the two athletes vied for the gold medal in a thrilling race. Specify the object of competition. Clearly state what the subject is competing for. This could be a tangible object, a position, or an intangible concept. For example, the students vied for the coveted scholarship, showcasing their academic achievements and extracurricular involvement. Express the intensity. Depending on the context, you may want to convey the level of intensity or enthusiasm with which the competition is taking place. This can be achieved by using adverbs or descriptive language. For example, the two political parties vied fiercely for the support of the swing voters, employing persuasive speeches and extensive campaigning. Use prepositions. In some cases, it may be necessary to use prepositions to clarify the nature of the competition or the relationship between the subjects and the object of contention. For example, the two companies vied with each other for dominance in the market, constantly launching new products and engaging in aggressive marketing strategies. Expanding vocabulary. To enhance your language skills and avoid repetition, it is beneficial to explore synonyms or related words to vie. Some alternatives include compete, strive, contend, battle, or jostle. For example, the talented musicians vied for the spotlight during the auditions, showcasing their unique styles and musical prowess. Practice and contextualize. To truly grasp the usage of vi, it is essential to practice incorporating it into your own sentences. Consider various scenarios and create sentences that accurately reflect the intended meaning. For example, the ambitious entrepreneurs vied for the investors' attention, presenting their innovative business ideas and financial projections. In conclusion, vi is a versatile word that can be used to describe competition or contention in various contexts. By following these tips, you can confidently incorporate vi into your writing and conversations, effectively conveying the spirit of competition and the desire to succeed. Remember to consider the subject, specify the object of competition, express the intensity, and use prepositions when necessary. With practice, you will master the usage of vi and expand your vocabulary, 
making your language skills more dynamic and engaging. Similar words include compete, contend, contest, struggle, fight, battle, cross swords, lock horns, jockey, jostle, grapple, wrestle, war, wage war, feud. Examples of sentences using VI are In the championship game, the two teams will vie for the national title. The competitive twins often vie for the attention of their parents. This year eight candidates will vie for their political party's endorsement. The two groups of scientists are vying to get funding for their research projects. On the reality show, 12 celebrities vie to become the season's dance champion. After the semi-final matches are complete, the winning tennis players will vie for the trophy. Make sure to save this new word, vie, so you can practice using it in your everyday sentences. That's all for today. Thank you for spending your time with me. I hope you learned something new. Remember, practice makes perfect, and we'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment after every video. All comments are welcome. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you receive similar videos every day. Have a fulfilling day. See you tomorrow. Cheers!